Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk. Welcome to my home. Just in time for the British summer, this series is all about barbecuing and cooking on fire. A lot of you probably didn't know that I love to cook on coal. So this week's Saturday special, we're on the fire with some spicy gojujang aubergine. So, barbecued aubergine is absolutely delicious, but I think a lot of people find aubergine quite a hard thing to cook or know how to cook properly. Really, you kind of treat it like you would a piece of meat, and I've got this massive aubergine here, so it might take a little bit of time to, to cook through, but searing your aubergine like searing meat uh, really helps, which is why a sort of direct heat like barbecue works so nicely. I'm going to slice or sort of score into the meat of the aubergine. So I'm trying to keep the skin intact. And this is just to allow the sauce that I'm going to put into this to sip into those slices and really flavour the aubergine nicely. This is much like how we have dealt in previous videos with your miso mushrooms and those oyster mushrooms, those king oyster mushrooms, because you want to get all the flavour into the actual vegetable. And so you can see the gaps there in the aubergine. So I'm going to foil this as well because I want it to char, but I want to keep the sauce for as long as possible. So I'm just creating a little boat of foil here, ready for my aubergine. Because I'm going to use my ultimate barbecue marinade sauce, but I'm going to sort of soup it up with some hoisin, some gojujang, the Korean chilli sauce, and some rice wine. Any sort of rice wine or mirin or sake works really nicely with this almost like a slightly spicy miso aubergine. So your recipe for your ultimate or my ultimate barbecue marinade is in one of the previous videos. Look that up with the grilled vegetables. I want to sort of sweeten this up and give it more of a sort of deep, savoury, sweet flavour. So I'm going to go for two tablespoons of hoisin sauce and the same amount of gojujang, the Korean chilli sauce. I've got some rice wine nearby as well, so I'm going to pour enough rice wine over this to make that into a nice consistency. It should be a little bit more dripping in consistency because gojujang and hoisin sauce are quite thick and if they're too thick, that sort of caramelisation will just happen too quickly on the aubergine. We want the aubergine meat to cook through, you know. Now at this point, you can pretty much start to spread that over the top of the aubergine. And that acts as your sort of base sticky flavour. We're going to thin this out again with my ultimate barbecue marinade. And you look at that, I mean, you know that's going to taste good. Let that really sit into the meat. And then I've got my ultimate barbecue marinade from the last video, and I'm just going to thin that out. It's got all those herbs, that coriander, spring onion, garlic, ginger to make up yogin. And you can see I've made a completely different dish using a base flavour from one source and then just adding a couple of extra ingredients. Aubergine's on, cover it with your lid. Make sure the barbecue's still open so that the air can go through and circulate that heat. But we want that aubergine meat to cook through nicely. So, my aubergine has had about 20 minutes on and off the direct heat. So I took it off the heat for about half of that into the centre and it's caramelised so nicely on itself 
and with the sort of charring on the bottom of that aubergine, I feel like you don't really have to do much more to it. That's ready. This aubergine should be really soft and just fall off its skin. It looks kind of like a bit of tofu, that's how soft it is. Mm. As I said at the beginning, people really struggle to cook aubergine. If you've got a good sear and then has enough time to kind of steam in its own juices, that's how to cook your aubergine properly. So much flavour in that. If you had that with a bit of flatbread or some rice on the side, oh, or just keep eating it. If you like this recipe, if you want to learn more, don't forget our Saturday specials, our Saturday specials, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.